Right, let's jump into it. For the purpose of this live demonstration, I'm going to assume the identity of Chat Whale. I'm going to go through the process of personalizing the site, creating some personalized images, and sending those out in an outreach. So when the recipient receives the personalized image in an email, when they click that, they're going to get through to a personalized uh, site on this, um, this site here, Chat Whale. So the first step, um, is to sign up for Hyperize and get that set up. So I've already created an account here. I haven't done anything. You can see when you first log into or when you first sign up to Hyperize, you'll be given this um, checklist of seven different um, steps to complete. Now typically, I would start off by creating a personalized image. The purpose of this demonstration, I'm actually gonna use an existing image we have on the site. So then the first step we wanna do is set up the personalization for the website. So first step, I'm going to skip the image personalization now. We'll come back to that. I'm going to go jump straight into install the Chrome extension. So the Chrome extension is what allows us to define the personalization on the site. So we simply install this. And this will add um, to our browser. Once that's been installed, you can see it's been uh, placed here. And then we can pin it so it's always available. And simply when we click this, we're now able to log in to our Hyperize account, and that's all done, all ready to go. So now let's jump back to our Hyperize account. And the next thing is to add the snippet to your website. So this is the thing that actually enables the personalization when somebody visits your site. So we visit the Hyper campaign. Let's just close the prompts for now and go straight down here to section two, which is the website. I'm just gonna simply copy the code here which is our uh, website personalization code, the JavaScript snippet. And we can add that directly to our website. Um, the easiest way is using the Google Tag Manager. That's a codeless way to do it. So if you're already using Google Tag Manager, this is the best way and the way that I'm gonna use it with Chatwell. Otherwise, you can just add it manually directly to your page. Within Tag Manager, we can just go over to the tags um, and then just choose to select a new one. And we go and choose uh, click tag, tag configuration and we just scroll down to custom HTML. And we simply just paste in the code uh, that we copied from Hyperize, choose to save that. Oh, yeah, and add a trigger to that. And we just choose to define that to be triggered on all pages in this case. So therefore, we can apply personalization to all pages on the site. Now we can click save, give this a name, and click save on that. And now we can simply submit that and that will publish that uh, live. We can set, uh, give a description and then uh, continue that. So we know what it is we did when we come back to that later on. And that's it. So now the site's live. Uh, it's got the Hyperize um, plugin in there, uh, the snippet. And so now we can go to the site and we can start to add the personalization. So again, we can see we've got the Chrome extension here to so the personalization toolbar. When we load that on the site, we can see straight away we've got zero personalizations. So that's great, so now we can start adding them. So for example, the first one here, what we're gonna do is add some firmographic personalizations. So here we've got this header, gamify your customer engagement. Rather than your, we can just simply double click onto the your here, and we see we've gone into edit mode, and all the various tags um, reveal. So in this case, I'm gonna change your for business name. Simply clicking business name, and uh, we'll replace that, and you can see there that's changed. And now what we can do is also inline, just tidy up the copy so it's uh, nice and uh, tidy there. And then again, we're gonna apply that same philosophy to the second uh, line here. So you can see we've already got one change, the Gamify line, and now we're gonna go to the second one, use your Facebook. Again, I'm gonna double click into there, change your for business name, and again, go in there and just tidy up the text. So now we've got two changes on the page, both uh, referencing the business name. Now what I'm gonna do is this image here, this product image for chat where I'm going to change that. So you can see now when I click on the image, rather than before when we clicked on text, we had a list of tags, now we, we should have a list of images. But as this is a brand new Hyperize account, I haven't created any images yet. So what I'm going to do, rather than select one because we don't have any, I'm going to right click the image that I've selected and choose personalize image. And what that will do is load up the image here in the editor and now I can simply just choose to add the personalizations I want. So in this case, what I'm going to do is I'm going to replace the mock-up of this uh, Facebook Messenger page with the logo of the business. So I'm going to find the logo uh, element, 
drag it into the canvas, kind of more or less resize that where I want it, then just uh, resize that there. And obviously, as you can see here, uh, Facebook style is to use round, so I'm going to choose logo settings, and I'm going to choose round rather than square. You can see that's not quite right, so you can just move that a little bit. And now we've got the logo there, perfect. Now, the second step, what I'm going to do is drag in some text. So, what I want to do is I want to have the business name above here. Uh, so I'm going to put that there, change the text setting, change that to black, maybe not italic, uh, and that looks kind of okay. So I'm going to change the text, double click into the text element to edit it, and choose the personalization merge tag, and again, business name. So now what we've got, you know, just bring that in a bit more in line. So now I've got the business name and the logo personalized, and we can call to give this a name. Uh, the image, save that, set it to public, save it again, so we've got it all ready. So now it's public. Actually, what we want to also do is change the background to make it nice and transparent. So we'll just drag that to a transparent background rather than a white background. Uh, so we've got that there all set up now. So we can jump back uh, to our website and again, select this image now. And now we can see we've got the image created, created there. And now we see the logos in place and we've got all of the personalizations and we've got the three different uh, elements defined. So we can save that and that's our personalization on the website completed. We can test this just to see, make sure that's um, all applied. So uh, for example, we can see it's personalizing to Tim Cook from Apple now. So simply just by using the UTM parameter here, you can see uh, in this case, Tim Cook at Apple, we're now uh, putting through the personalization. So Gamify Apple customers use Apple Facebook page and you can see we've got the mock-up using the, the uh, Apple um, uh, um, Facebook Messenger page. Just uh, illustrations, I'll just change this to a different email just so we can see the changes apply here. And here we can see in this case, I'm uh, using mock Facebook. You can see Gamify Facebook customers engagement use Facebook, well, that's a bit meta, isn't it? Facebook, Facebook page, but you get the idea. Uh, and you can see there, uh, we're kind of putting through the firmographic data. So that's the kind of the first step. So let's go back to our Hyperize account. We can see we've now got this uh, personalized image in there. You see it's got two impressions, we've tested it, and it's public. So now what we can do is we can go into here, and we can add an integration. So again, for the purpose of this demonstration, I'm going to use Active Campaign. As a, as a test to illustrate this. So I'm going to go to integrations, I'm going to choose add. And the reason why I chose active campaigns is because it's the first in the list. We've got hundreds of integrations on our platform. So whatever sort of uh, use case you're thinking of, you know, whether it's your a CRM or email or even LinkedIn outreach or various other elements, you, know, you just choose your category and filter it. Once you've found the integration you want, you simply select that, click yes to add. Now we can see, in this case, we've got the active campaign uh, integration added, and it's also selected. We see it's at the second bottom. So now we can simply copy that link and then just head over to active campaign. So what we're going to do now is create a new campaign. Uh, let's give it a name. Uh, we'll just put a standard campaign in this in this example. We we'll choose a list. Click next. Right, so what I'm going to do is just choose a very simple um, template here, just to illustrate the point. So now we're within the template editor, we simply just drag across a block of code here, click to add that, and just simply paste in the code we have here. And what that will provide is, is a simple personalized um, preview of the image we've just added. So in this case, we can see we've got the image um, in there. And again, obviously, uh, just with the logo placeholders, uh, and that's great. And if you want to make that image clickable, and we want to do in our experiment, then what we're going to do is go back to Hyper Campaign and get the, the link details. So at the moment, we've got the image, and we've got the code, and we've just copied that. And what that does is that will give us uh, the personalized image in the email, but what we really want to do is make it clickable. So what I'm going to do is just grab the URL here, Chatwell, which is where we want to send people. 
uh, and we're going to launch into the hyper campaign. So we'll save our image with the work we've done so far. We've got the hyper campaign, we've got our image selected, we've got our integration selected. So now we can just simply put in uh, our destination URL. And here, rather than just having the image code, which is what we've copied and added already, we have the additional options of either a link code, so if we just add that to the email um, to have um, a link that's clickable. So let's just jump over and have a look at that. So again, we can either edit the existing code we have and just put a link underneath it so we can save that. And then what we'll see is we have the link text. Obviously, we can change the link text to be something more appealing than uh, the default. And in addition to that, if we want to make the image clickable, rather than just the image code, we have what we call the combined code. And again, copying that, we can add that to our um, template. So again, let me just edit the code. And so what I can do now is I can replace the standard just image code with the full image and click code. So what we can do is rename the link text to click me, just to give it something slightly different. So you can see here now we've got an image which will be clickable as well as text. Save that. So now we've got our confirmation of our campaign. So what we can do is we just send a quick test um, as well. And now let's just send the campaign um, for our, to see our results and see how that looks from a personalization perspective. So that's our campaign created. So we just, uh, let's just jump over to Gmail, see if we can find that. This was the test um, to the Hyperize email. You can see Hyperize pulled through. And again, we'll see Hyperize goes by Hyperize with Hyperize pulled through. And then the final one was uh, to my App Institute email. And again, you can see the personalized image in the email um, with App Institute. Let me click that. And again, we'll see the site personalized game by App Institute customers engagement and use App Institute Facebook. And again, you can see the personalized image there. And again, just for completeness, let's try the link, click me, and again, it will end up back at the same place with all the personalization pulled through. So that was literally just uh, 10 minutes, and we've gone through and we've created our image. We've added, personalized the website, and we've sent out an email campaign with that personalized image. And as we can see now, we can now see the details in our dashboard, in this case, uh, in there from our Institute, as seeing this specific image. Uh, you know, and, and all the details of that, and we can see our impressions. For completeness, let's also go through the process of creating an image from scratch, rather than starting from the website. So we can go over to the images section, where we'll see all of our images we've created, uh, but let's create a new image. So select the first option here, create a new image. When we create a new image, we'll be presented with a blank canvas. In this case, we can see we're prompted to change the background image. So this is the canvas in the middle. Obviously, we've got our personalization option on the left and our settings on the right. So simply clicking the canvas will prompt us to choose an image to set. Now, we can either choose an existing image from our library or we can click this option to upload an image that we have on our computer. In this case, I'm just going to choose this image here and click Select. Then we'll be prompted, do we want to change the canvas to match the image or adjust the ratio of the image to match the canvas? In this case, let's adjust the canvas to the image size. So we've got the image, we can reduce the zoom a little bit so we can see it all in, in one place. And now we can just start as we did before, just to add our personalization options. Again, adding such as text, clicking in to it and adding personalization tag, tags, choosing the settings to set the, the style and elements of that within our layer controls here on the right hand side, and being able to control all of those elements such as adding a, a website preview and again, changing the settings there. Once we've added our, and set up our image, again, we can go to our integrations and choose the platform we want to use. Once we've created our image, again, setting it to live is the final key to being able to use it uh, for personalization. And finally, obviously, make sure to save our work as we go along. I hope that's been a really useful overview of how within 10, 15 minutes, you can get your account set up, get your site personalized and your campaigns out um, and start to enjoy the benefits of hyper-personalization throughout your sales funnel.